Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mike's Garage. So I've got a great update for you on the good old Mach 1. So I talked before that I was going to change the pulley on the Eden, and I ended up getting the whole lower pulley system from Metco. Now I'm actually going to be returning it because this part is not going to fit my ATI dampener that I have on the engine. So there's two different dampeners that you can get. One that works with the original lower cage and then the other one which works with this one. So I can install my Metco lower but it really doesn't matter because I've got a surprise for you. Let's take a look. And here it is. The original Screamer. This is a Kenny Bell 2.2 that was off of a Cobra. This one is in extremely good shape, and it took me quite some time to finally find one that was at a uh, good price. Now, I've looked at the rotors on this. The rotors are in uh, pretty good shape, um, and so is the front drive system on it. It does spin freely. I see that there was slight rotor contact at uh, some point on it but it's very, very minimal. So looking at this and the shape that it's in, it really is approximately 50% worn, which is, you know what, for an old supercharger, a, 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 a Gen 2 of this uh, Kenny Bell 2.2 is about as good as it's going to get. Uh, you can still rebuild these, but it is in better shape than what my Eden is, uh, just my opinion. Uh, so I'm very, very happy to put this on. It does have the three inch uh, pulley on it, which is good for 17 pounds. And the last gentleman that, that owned this supercharger uh, had it you know, at 17 pounds. He didn't do it lower or try over spinning it, but he just had it at 17 pounds. He would take it to the track. And I think he made uh, north of 620 horsepower, if I remember correctly. So it's got the very big opening for the uh, plenum, and I need to uh, uh, to get a throttle body for this. I may use my original one that's ported temporarily, um, but it's all there. And then I've got some additional accessory accessories and brackets for it, but uh, it's all there. The drive oil looks good. I need to change it, of course, um, but the last guy said that they would change it. Uh, on a yearly basis, which is really what you should do. So overall, like I said, this is in very good shape. So let me, let me kind of show you the rotors here. So here's what the rotors look like. They are in pretty good shape. You see a couple small nicks in it, and that's due to... Um, just wear and tear and kind of overspinning it. So these rotors are known to flex. If you overspin them, um, you had too much boost. So this thing did have, you know, a good amount of boost. Maybe someone went over 17 or, or just the life of it being at 17. Um, but all in all, a couple little marks, but you look at the leading edges, they're all nice and, and crisp. There's, there's no, no issues there. Um, but like I said, these do flex a little bit, so that's why you're seeing these little little marks. Um, but all the edges are good. So that's, that's the really important part of it. But yeah, spins nice and free. No issues. So I'm going to run this at uh, 17 pounds of boost, which is, you know, with that 3-inch pulley. And... Um, I should make 525 to 550 on a conservative 93 tune and um, about 575 uh, if I throw more timing at it and do a race tune. Um, but to be honest, 525 is to 550 is, is plenty. Um, it's probably going to be 550. But yeah, I'll be very, uh, very happy with it. Um, like I said, it is in, overall, it is in very good shape. It is very hard to find these. 
and find one that's not completely destroyed, that's even harder. So that's pretty much it. So once again, thank you for watching Mike's Garage. Oh, one thing I did want to mention, I almost forgot. Um, I'm not installing this right away. I am going to uh, finish the house, build the shop, and then I'm going to start doing this because a lot of my uh, tools that I have, um, you know, they're, 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 they're in storage. So um, I want to have the shop. I want to have some space, and then I can start to... Uh, doing some tinkering. So it might be a year before I put this on. So just kind of a heads up there, but um, it's coming. Every every good thing takes, uh, takes a little bit of time. So uh, once again, thank you for watching Mike's Garage and like, subscribe and leave a comment.